Hey everyone, so let's go over some of the Esper balance changes that'll be taking place in version 3.1.7. Let's start with Cecilia, the Shimmer 5 star. Her passive ability that used to revive Esper's when she fainted is turning into an active ability that she can cast. It will revive all allies for 15% of their max HP and grant them 30% attack placement. Each revived ally will extend the cooldown of this ability by one turn, and it will also grant a shield that is 50% of their allies' max HP. It will grant all allies 20% attack placement regardless of whether they were revived or not. This skill cannot be affected by cooldown reduce, and its ascension makes it autocast when she dies if she's not on cooldown. I think this is one of the strongest buffs that we have ever seen in coming into Dislight. Next up is Sienna. She's getting a small buff in that her third skill now has a 100% chance to stun if she erases their attack placement, and her third skill's cooldown is reduced to 5 turns instead of 6 at max skill level. Moving on to Sally, she's getting a tiny buff in that her second skill will now grant recovery for two turns as well as attack up and redistributing the HP pools among the party. Gabrielle, her first ability will now hit twice and it will scale with speed. Her third skill will now hit three times and it will inflict attack down for two turns. Brewster is getting a small buff as well because his reload attack passive will now transfer a debuff to the target. Clara's first skill will now prioritize healing two different allies instead of one single ally. Lewis will now inflict Seer for two turns on his second skill, and on his third skill, if he kills the enemy, he will gain invincibility for one turn. Anasidora is getting a huge nerf in that her Pandora's box will no longer stun and it will only inflict speed down for two turns. Its HP reduction will be changed to minus 30% instead of minus 50%, and her second skill will now be stunning instead of the Pandora's box. Sander's third skill is being changed to one hit, and his speed scaling is going to be changed to 1% per point of speed. Also, it is now a 100% chance of reducing attack placement by 60%. Dahlia will be receiving a small nerf because her second skill will be changed to a 3 turn cooldown at a max level, and her second skill's freeze chance will be lowered to 50%. Zhao Yin will be receiving a pretty large rework this update, with most of his attacks stealing attack placement or inflicting speed down. I will leave the patch notes on screen without any interference so you can see them if you'd like to read more. Lin's third skill will be changed to two hits, and her ascension will grant her 15% attack placement when her third skill crits. For Alexa, her chance to inflict miss rate up is increased to 70% chance on her first skill. Her second skill now dispels one debuff from allies and heals them for 20% of their max HP when she successfully dispels. Her Kiss of the Nightingale will now dispel one debuff at the start of their turn to whoever is holding that buff. Finally, we have Meredith. Her first skill will be changed to three hits, and it will have a 45% chance of dispelling one buff from the target. And for her third skill, if the target's HP is greater than 80%, the cooldown of this skill will be subtracted by one. Her third skill will also grant speed up to all allies for two turns. We also have some Esper base stat changes. as well as a few new captain abilities for certain espers. If you've made it this far into the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, it really helps my channel, and I hope to see you guys in the next video!